Hi, my name is John from Motilis Industries, and as I mentioned in my last video about the bow drill fire, one of my favorite spindles to use is made of elderberry. So the elderberry is a woody shrub. I have it here behind me. And uh, right now during the winter, it's missing some of its features, but I'll show you quickly how to identify it uh, even in the winter. Elderberry has very pronounced nodes, and they kind of look like knees. This is where the, the leaves and the branches sprout from. The, the buds on here, I can see them sprouting already. At the nodes, they sprout opposite each other and they alternate. So the, the buds on at this node are gonna uh, grow in a single plane opposite the main stem. And then if I go up to the next node, that plane rotates 90 degrees. And so we're alternating as we go up and down at each node. Uh, the space in between the nodes we refer to as an internode. If I take a cross section of this internode, I will see that the the outside, the outer ring, is hardwood, and the inside, the core, is soft and pithy. But to, to select my spindle, I need to find an internode that is at least six inches long, about a half inch to three quarters inch in diameter, and it needs to be nice and straight. Here we have some elderberry limbs that have been cut for some time and have been drying. These are nice and dry now. I've also stripped the bark off of these. Normally the bark is a dark brown color, but you can see the nodes here. And um, once you strip the bark off, the nodes are not as pronounced, but you can still see them. So we're looking for an internode uh, to use for our bow drill spindle. I selected this piece right here. It's nice and straight, and um, the diameter is about five eighths of an inch on both sides. So it's a pretty consistent diameter. The length is about six and a quarter inches long. So that's perfect for the size I like to use. Now the, the pith on here is very soft, you can um, deform it with your finger. On this end I've already inserted my insert here. I carved this out of a, a hard piece of wood, I believe this is from Poplar. And I just stuff it down inside there, compact the pith a little bit. Um, and uh, we're going to be worried about over time my spindle splitting because of the pressure that I'm going to put with my socket on top of that insert. So we're going to need to wrap that. So I've cut my paracord and you can see the inner strands are exposed. I'm going to pull one of those out and then I'm going to whip the end of this just like if I were whipping the end of a rope. And pull it really tight as I wind around. And that should hold it. So there's my new spindle. Lone Pond.